Hey, hi, how are ya? Whippy Cake here, and I have this really fun tutorial for you. I'm gonna show you how to curl hair for short hairstyles. And this is what I do almost every single week, and it's really easy, so I'm gonna show you how. Before I will let any type of heat source touch my hair, I always have to put some sort of protective product on. So I'm using Nassant's Elixir. This is like an argan oil and it's called Revive Intense Argan Oil. So I'm gonna squ little squirt it in my hand and then just apply it on my, my ends all over so that when I'm running the hot tool through my hair, it's not frying and sizzling my hair off. You can use a brush to comb it through if you want. Then I'm gonna section my hair off using a couple clips like this. I'm gonna be using a flat iron because I always use a flat iron. It's just kind of my go-to method. And I'm using um, my C curl technique. If you haven't watched that video, I'll be sure to link it. But it's basically a simple concept. You just rotate the flat iron one time as if you were making a C with it. And then you pull your hair through and that's it. So I'm gonna show you how I would do that. And I like to alternate which way I curl my hair so it doesn't all become one lump curl. So I'm gonna rotate this hair and curl it the opposite way. And you might notice that I don't curl every single hair because I feel like that gives it like authentic, natural wave to it. So it's got a little bit of the straight original hair and a couple different tweaked hairs with the flat iron. Another thing you might notice with that's a little bit different from my original C curl video is I'm not getting really close up to the roots. The reason is I have sort of a bob, boxy kind of haircut going on. It's not a pixie, it's not quite a bob yet. So if I were to curl it right at the roots, my hair would be really, really poofy all around the roots and then my ends would have little to no volume. So I'm gonna look like almost like a clown cap going on. So that's why I'm having the focus of the curl be right in the middle of the hair, but not at the root and not at the end. If you curl it at the end, you're gonna have the opposite problem where you have like this huge triangle head going on because you have so much volume at the ends of your hair. So I don't know about you, but for me, the back of my hair always wants to go really smooth in like all one direction. So it almost looks like a stacked bob, which is not what I'm going for. I want like a blunt boxy, like a bob going on. And so I'm gonna flip out some of the pieces and straighten it and make sure that there's a lot of like separation in the back of my hair. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. As I get to the top, I stop curling as much. I, I just barely want it to be a tiny little wave because if it gets too curly, it's like so big all over the place. Another thing too, keep in mind, like you do not want to like clamp down when you're using a flat iron or even a, a curling iron because you're gonna crimp the hair. It should be like barely touching, barely touching, so that when you're pulling your hair through, it can literally just glide right through. And that way, if you need to go through it again, it's not like super duper like uh, crimped or ringlets happening. Okay, so for, for the very top section, I actually do something completely different than the whole rest of the head. And I curl the hair going straight up, so the flat iron is going straight up. This puts a little bit of volume underneath without adding tons and tons of curl. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like after you curl it.
So once I've curled all my hair, I might use a mirror and kind of find out if any, you know, look for any pieces that are going the wrong way or if any hair is like clumping together, I'll break it up. Um, but for the most part, I feel like the less you fuss with it and the less you try to make it look perfect, the better it looks. So that's sort of my secret is like, I want it to look messy and disheveled. Um, and then once I'm done curling, that's when I'll kind of chase it with a little bit of product. So I'm using, Big surprise, <laughs> it's actually called Play Dirty, but that's not a big surprise because I use spray wax in pretty much every single video that I do. And I'm gonna spritz this all over my ends and you'll just see it kind of like separates and comes to life, gives it a lot of texture and volume right at the ends where it tends to get really flat. And that's pretty much all I do. I don't wanna add any more product or anything like that because it will start to like weigh it down and you'll lose some of that natural uh, hair movement, but I love this look because it's awesome for first and second day hair And then, then it's perfect foundation for some like twisties or a little half up ponytail or a little mini bun All of which I have tutorials to that I can link below um, If you do have extremely flat or limp hair and you're struggling to get this sort of volume I also have a video to that as well that I can link to but for the most part This is an easy like curl and wear hairstyle. You don't have to do much more looks really fun and playful. A couple other reasons why I really like this hairstyle is you can tuck. I'm like an extreme epic compulsive tucker. Look, still looks so cute. And you can switch up your part. You can do like a crazy dramatic part and it'll look all sorts of fly and sassy. Or you could do a middle part. And you can even do a middle part tuck. What? The internet is freaking out right now. <laughs> so anyways, I really hope that you experiment with this hairstyle and kind of get familiar and comfortable with your flat iron or your curling iron because I'm telling you what, this is like must know, hair 101 for girls with short hair. So if you liked this video, if it blew your mind, if it answered some questions, please share it with a friend, pass it along, pin it to Pinterest, whatever you gotta do. And also don't forget to subscribe so that you can see my upcoming videos and be in tune with me all the time. I'll see ya. That's how it's done.